There's new concern tonight about China's military capabilities amid a report the country recently tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile. CNN's Brian Todd is working the story for us. So, Brian, what are you finding out? Well, n missile experts are worried tonight about China's new missile capability. There's a new report indicating China could soon be able to deploy a nuclear-tipped missile that U.S. defenses would find much harder to detect. U.S. officials tonight closely monitoring China's missile program following a report of a possibly ominous missile test. The Financial Times, citing unnamed sources briefed on the intelligence, reports China tested a nuclear-capable hypersonic missile in August. The report says the missile circled the Earth before speeding toward its target, demonstrating an advanced capability in space that, quote, caught U.S. intelligence by surprise. Today, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, while not commenting specifically on the Financial Times report, said this. We watch closely China's development of, uh, of uh, armament and, and advanced capabilities uh, and systems that will only increase uh, tensions in the region. China denies testing a hypersonic missile, saying the test was a, quote, routine spacecraft experiment and implying it was for civilian purposes. But analysts say if the report is correct, China's not only got a missile that can fly at five times the speed of sound and is more maneuverable than a standard ballistic missile. Because they're fast and they can avoid detection, they can decrease the amount of warning time we have and the amount of decision time that leaders have to respond in a crisis if hypersonic weapons are used. The idea that China might have fired a rocket into full orbit with this missile on it is disturbing to experts. If that's true, then we now have to start worrying about whether every Chinese satellite might not, in fact, be a disguised nuclear warhead. This is a very, very destabilizing development. This summer, it was reported that China began construction of what experts said were more than 100 new silos for intercontinental ballistic missiles in a western desert of China. What is very clear is that China is pushing to develop its nuclear capabilities, its strategic intercontinental capabilities, significantly beyond what has been the case for the last four decades, five decades. And China, according to U.S. officials, has been more aggressive recently in testing its weapons. As of the end of last month, September of 2021, uh, the PRC had launched uh, at least 250 ballistic missiles this year. But China's not alone in developing hypersonic missiles. The U.S. and Russia are also working on them. And recently, Kim Jong-un's regime claimed North Korea test-fired a hypersonic missile with a warhead that could detach and glide. Well, what I'm concerned about is uh, an unconstrained uh, ballistic missile and hypersonic missile race in uh, East Asia in future years. Uh, we know there are uh, military tensions between China and Japan, between the Koreas, between the United States and China. Experts are increasingly concerned about North Korea's hypersonic missile tests. Where did North Korea get the technology? Analysts say it's possible they could have gotten it from China or Russia, but they also say China and Russia have expressed concern over North Korea having that capability. So it's possible the North Koreans could have developed that hypersonic capability all on their own. Wolf. We'll watch it together with uh, you. Thank you very, very much. Brian Todd reporting.